I freaking love this mountain. Oh, baby, you know it's going to be a good day when the Liquid Courage is dancing on the dashboard. Laura and I are driving up in the fog to Brandywine Mountain. That's one of my favorite hikes in the Whistler area, so we got to do it once every summer. It's a tad cloudy, so we're hoping the clouds burn off or we hike above them, one of the two, and uh, we're going to see what happens, you know? It's always a good day for walking up mountains. The road, not bad. You had a normal truck, you're fine. Even a long one like mine, totally fine. Going back up to make my last stand. I'm gonna dust it off. One of the reasons I absolutely love this hike, especially when I'm taking people less experienced with hiking in the mountains, you're already in the Alpine after driving and hiking for what, 15 minutes? We're in a meadow? That's ridiculous. That's practically like taking a chairlift. Quick question for all you snowmobilers out there. What's this red can? Do they stand up there with like Avi, uh, Avi shotguns and blast the area or is there like safety gear in there? I'm sure there's some purpose. It's actually kind of far from the mountainside to blast it, but let me know in the comments if you're a snowmobiler and you know what that, that can's all for. Target. Dreaming of that old used to be. Ah, <laughs> I just love the smell of wildflowers and alpine grasses, regardless of how wild they get my allergies going. It's like this sour and sweet scent of pure alpine goodness. Oh man. And now we go straight up. Laura and I are taking a one way ticket on the Calf Burn Express, and I'm the conductor. My calves are absolutely crunching right now. Love it. I hate it, but I love it. Flat light, very flat light. This is feeling a lot more like Whistler. Feels so at home. Hopefully this blows over for the summit because it's really nice. But if it doesn't blow over for the summit, then I've got some very mediocre pictures I can share. With the fog, uh, we lost the trail for a sec and we're just traversing back over across the boulders. We're trying to go for that gap in the clouds. Quick tip when hiking on more boulderly terrain, always keep your partner beside you um, so nothing rolls down. And if there's other parties behind you, try to make sure there's no one behind you from other parties too. And if a rock rolls, always call it. Even though there's not like a view of the mountains around, it's pretty cool being tucked beside this huge glacier right here and just so quiet up here in the mountains. Not fall in these holes. That hole would be a 
Don't even know if we could get out of it. Need no rope. <laughs> Don't have a rope. Watch all these cracks. Step on a crack and you break both your legs and back. <laughs> Quite literally. Sing the back, mama. Sing the back. Look at this Glacino. Oh my god. We've reached the summit of Brandywine. It's one of my favorite mountains in the area. Just loaded with glaciers and mountains and you just can't beat it. Some serious exposure right behind us. Super cool crevassy glacier there. Feeling pretty stoked. Pretty darn stoked to be up here. Brandywine Mountain. She's an absolute beauty. If you get it on fully bluebird, poof, mind blown. Forgot the hot sauce in the truck, but a hot spicy salami sandwich. We'll have to do uh, for now. That's hitting right. There we go. God, it's sexy up here. Look at those glaciers in the back there too. Just loaded with glaciers. I wonder if you could like on a clear day just hike some of these ridges. Probably. Just for fun. Man, this is nice. Gorgeous. Huge glacier. Beautiful blue lake down there. I don't even know where Rainbow Mountain is right now. I'm pretty sure Metal Dome is just to our right. A weird little pocket of sunshine. That was one of the most delightful trail sandwiches I have. I know I'm a peanut butter jelly advocate, but salami was pretty damn good. Finished it off with a cliff bar and a few starbursts. Damn, starbursts are good. Comment down below if you freaking love starbursts. Uh, down we go. I kind of think this is the final cloud. I don't think so. I think this is the last cloud of the day. I just have this feeling. Look how burly the mountains are on the other side. Who knew those were there? Here they come. Show yourselves. Show yourselves. You cover us in shame. I take the blame. It's like you're skiing out of a shoot. Starting to see a little bit of what we should have seen earlier, that mountains open up over there. Like I said, it's just glaciers and mountains all the way through. It was so foggy, we came, we were coming up straight to this cliff over here. We are walking up straight to that cliff. Yep, we're getting up there. These are like awkward spaced boulders with kind of walked soil and random patterns. It's very challenging, very slippery. You can't, can't really slide down. Can't really walk down, run down, you know, it's just kind of a survival. There she is. Mountain goat. Mountain goat and some cool glasses. A goat on her way down. You can just see the corner, I believe, of Chequemus Lake right in there.
goodbye meadow and goodbye Brandywine Peak, my lovely peak, who is nice and clear right now. We'll see you again. Back in the truck, about five hours of hiking. Wonderful hike, you know, the clouds could have moved a little earlier for us, but sometimes hiking in the clouds is fun. You might remember at the start of the morning, the hot sauce bouncing around on the grill, as you can see, and it's still there. So that's where I left the hot sauce, stupidly enough. Now, it's actually gotten so hot, can't reach it, there we go. It's gotten so hot that it's like boiling here, and the bottle, as you can see, is kind of, uh, what's the word, bulging out of the bottom, like this is like, this is like boiled water hot, and it's, this is like about to explode. Like, it's rock hard. So like, this might actually be like a Molotov cocktail of hot sauce. Uh, unfortunately, like look at the stickers coming off. Fortunately, I can't drink this for y'all, uh, cause I don't wanna die today. So um, don't keep your hot sauce. It's supposed to be stored in a refrigerator. It says refrigerate after opening. And I think leaving it on the dash of your car in the summer is quite obviously the opposite of refrigerating after opening. Anyways. Killer day, Brandywine's such a sick spot to check out if you've never checked it out before. The meadow itself is amazing and then the peak is amazing. Lots of fun to focus on the, uh, the steep road ahead and uh, see you in the next one. Stay spicy. Comment down below if you freaking love Starburst.